Hey, what's up guys? Mule Skull here, and welcome back to Terraria, episode 83. Uh, when we left off, we got a few items in the dungeon. Um, we got the tabby and... What was it? Uh, the shadow beam staff. And the shotgun, but... Um, yeah, that was... It was kind of boring in there. <laughs> there wasn't a lot going on, it was just kind of... Um, yeah, it, it was just quiet, like nothing was really super exciting, so we left. Um, copper and silver, jeez. I wish it would just auto turn into what it needs to turn into, like this. Sure, whatever, just give me a gold coin, thank you. Ooh, if that guy could drop a Nimbus Rod, that would be excellent. <laughs> of course he won't. We don't want good equipment or anything. Okay, let's go home. Alrighty, so, today, um, I think we're gonna get ready for the pumpkin moon. What do you guys think? Oh no, it's about to be nighttime too. Oh no, it ain't. Sun's right there. Okay, so it's getting close, but I think we can make it home and. Okay, let's go. Hi, Steampunker. Bye, Steampunker. Get out of here. We have the ectoplasm for it, um, and I think that we can live through it. It'd just be fun to do something different, is kind of what I'm thinking. And I, I think we have the sword for it, that's for sure. Oh, come on. Let's go. Almost there. I don't know how many pumpkins I need, but I'm sure I got enough. I don't know. Might have to start a pumpkin farm. But I know we need ectoplasm, we need pumpkins, and something else, but I can't remember. Come on, come on. Let's go. Hurry. Duck! Got him. <laughs> oh, we're almost there. Oh, that corruption is so bad. I think it's time to get the Clintaminator out and start do a cleanup again. So it goes like hollow corruption, hollow corruption, hollow corruption all the way to here. And then it even goes beyond here now. I think it's hollow here. Okay, and we're home. Now. Open the door. Thank you. Okay. We gotta find our guidey guide. You. Bradley. Crafting. Oh, first things first. First thing at our spawn point. Okay. Um, goodbye, Pixie Dust. Goodbye, Ancient Necro Helmet. Um, okay, pumpkin. I want a pumpkin moon, dude. So tell me. There we go. I need 30 pumpkins, 5 ectoplasm, and 10 hallowed bars. That is a very easy recipe. Okay, now. Let's check our pumpkin supply did have pumpkins. Yes, I did. Ectoplasm and hallowed bars. Oh, we got plenty of those. Who's 
almost get 10 of them, and uh, it was 30 of these, I believe. There we go. Put those in there for now. Um, keep that on us. This staff can go one of these chests to take up more room. Shotgun, sure. Um, anything else that I want to just... Frankenstein banner can go up. What else? Ah, I think we're good. Okay. Now, we gotta get away from the house a little bit before we play with the pumpkin moon. Go over here. Oh, I wanted to craft that master ninja gear too. I can't live without that stuff no more. Okay, um, Tinker, there we go. This one, and this one. And, oh, I need the climbing claws too, don't I? I could have swore I had the, what is it, master climbing gear? Yes, or tiger climbing gear. There it is, perfect. Now, combine those three items. Get Master Ninja Gear. Boom. Oh, yeah. And, uh, hmm. Depending on our loadout, I might do that. Uh, I think magic's gonna be one of our best weapons, though. Well, okay. We'll do that. Cool. So I can't live without this stuff no more. <laughs> it's one of those uh, items that once you use it a lot, yeah, you can't live without it. Okay, and did I... I did not make a medallion yet. Darn it. Um... I'm missing something. Ten hollow bars, ectoplasm, pumpkin. Isn't that how you do it? I don't have enough of something. Okay. Bradley, quickly. Crafting with pumpkins. Um, dang it, you, crafting, pumpkin, this one, ten, five, thirty, and where do I craft it, mithril anvil, okay, can I just, wasn't I just standing right here, wasn't I just standing, ah, oh, there it is, night time enough let's go okay to the desert <laughs> gotta get through these waves too quick as we can anyway on our little heart statue and go. to the Terra Blade. <laughs> it seems to do the best in this game. Or as far as damage goes with these guys. I popped off. We're getting spooky wood, which leads to another set. Um, that would be the... the spooky set. A good summoning set. And these guys always get me. 
They're called morning woods. <laughs> I know. I'm I'm being serious though. So Please morning wood. <clears throat> and they always shoot like crazy fire all over the place and these arrows that go through walls and Oh yeah, that's fun stuff. You don't know what you're missing until you get morning wood. <laughs> Poltergeist, too. Okay, these guys are bad. The trick is to not pick up all the hearts on the ground. Um, if you kill a guy, don't immediately run through and get his loot and stuff, because if he's carrying hearts, that can be life for later. And as long as my life stays up a little bit, and I'm not, you know getting too bad hurt, then you want to save those hearts on the ground, see? Like, I'm saving some right by that pool, kinda. The pool of honey. Um, just because when I do get low on health, I can run through that, and there'll be a good 100 health. Oh, my fingers get so tired. Can't reach him. Okay. Whoa, not two of them. That's not good. Okay, um. Keep your distance from those guys, too, because they get, like, on top of you, you're screwed. They start hurting worse and worse. Okay. Ah, dang it. You guys are asses, you know that? You guys know that? Not good. Now it's time for some hearts. Oh, I didn't have as many as I thought I did. Okay, dodge ability. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> oh, geez. My mouse keeps going outside the window. Just remember, you can always pick up... Oh, that's not good right now. You can always pick up their loot afterwards, so don't be inclined to pick it up as soon as it drops, just because it doesn't really matter. <laughs> oh, you're a punk. You know that? <sighs> there we go. I'm gonna die. Totally gonna die. Pumpkin is not something that I am prepared for. Okay. And I don't have the strength to do the up and downs on him. I have to just try and avoid him. Oh man, that's hurting. I think I'm gonna die. Yep, I'm definitely gonna die. Dang it. <laughs> well, that was fun though. Um, okay, let me spawn, um, oh no, not in the house, not in the house, you guys are, yeah, okay, we're not even gonna finish that one, okay, time to go, let's go, yeah, Time to use that double dash, or what is it, the... I think it's just dash. <laughs> With the ninja gear, um... To escape. 
beat this guy a little bit. I can. And the Master Ninja Gear is great for PvP, guys. If you haven't used, uh, if you haven't gotten it or used it, oh man, it's good stuff. Because it just, you got that dash, and that dash can get you away from people pretty quickly. Okay, more life. Pumpkin is not the thing I want to be dashing right, or dodging right now. He's super, super tough. running through the honey. That's what I really want to do. Okay, we're good. Man, I think it's over. All right, I don't even know what kind of loot we got. Let's take a look. Um, no, all we got's really spooky wood. That's all right. That's all right, loot, I guess. But there's a lot better loot, and that's the the pumpkin moon. All righty. Let's get back to the house, and we will see what it takes to. Well, I know what it takes to get Spectre. I need I need to go to the jungle and get some chlorophyte. Again. <laughs> Again. Um, let's see. Got this hallowed chest we can set up. I don't know what we'll put in it yet, but if you know how my uh, organizational skills are, then it'll probably just be full of junk, as usual. Okay. Quick stack our chests real quick. Get everything out of our hands. We don't really have any any common items. It's all pretty unique. So we're gonna have to figure out what the heck we want to do with that stuff. Hmm. I don't want to set up water candles. Let's put those somewhere. Now it's bleeding into this chest. See what I mean? <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to pause it here. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!